Hello friends, this video on biomolecules part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com, no more fear from exam. So the most popular ones, monosaccharides are glucose. It looks like this. You must be wondering the structure which I just drew. Don't get confused with the structure of glucose, we will study about the structure of glucose in detail. Fructose looks something like this. Glycerol dehyde looks something like this. So let's study in detail the glucose. This is the glucose here. So glucose occurs freely in nature as well as in combined form. So it occurs in sweet fruits and honey. And it is the most abundant organic compound on earth please note it is the most abundant organic compound on earth that is glucose as i told in summers when we are tired tired or when we are ill we take this glucose to get instant energy why because our body did not break it further this is the smallest form of carbohydrates monosaccharides which we use for energy so glucose is a instant energy drink but honey and fruits also have this glucose Preparation of glucose. So glucose is prepared by two sources generally in the industry. One is from cane sugar, it's called sucrose, and that is a disaccharide. We'll talk about this. It's cane sugar, and the second way is from starch and cellulose. Cellulose is nothing but wood. So it's prepared either from starch or cellulose or from sucrose. We'll start, we'll talk about the first method called preparation of glucose from cane sugar that is sucrose so preparation of glucose from cane sugar that is nothing but sucrose and glucose is a monosaccharide and this sucrose is a disaccharide so what we do is the sucrose is boiled with dilute sulfuric acid or hydrochloric acid in an alcoholic solution then glucose and fructose is obtained in equal quantity. So the reaction is like this. This is my sucrose. We'll talk about the structure of sucrose in detail. When you heat this in acidic medium in alcoholic solution, you get this and this. So this, the one, the six member ring is glucose. We'll talk about the structure of glucose in the next few slides. And this is my fructose. We'll talk about the structure of fructose also in the next few slides. So if you want to write this equation, this is nothing but C12 H12 H22 O11 plus water in acidic medium you get C6H12O6 plus C6H12O6. So here you see both have the same molecular formula but they have different structure formula. Now if you see, I am doing a hydrolysis of this compound and it gives me two units of monosaccharides. That means this is the disaccharide. Correct? We just apply the definition which we have learned. So there's a compound X, we did a hydrolysis and we got two units of monosaccharides. That means this compound is a disaccharide and that is true. The sucrose is a disaccharide, correct? So the glucose is prepared from sucrose by boiling the sucrose with dilute sulfuric acid or hydrochloric acid in alcoholic solution. And please note, glucose and fructose is obtained in the equal quantity. The next is preparation from starch or cellulose. Now we'll understand preparation from starch and cellulose. So commercially this method is used commercially. This is preferred method. So what here also what we do, we do a hydrolysis of this. So this is my starch, this is glucose, you can take any of these. 
and you boil it with some sul acid, sulfuric acid or hydrochloric acid at uh, almost 393 Kelvin under pressure. So you have to have a pressure, high temperature with acid, what you get is C6H10, sorry C6H12 O6. This is what you get and this is nothing but my glucose. This is my star, this is my glucose and if you want to write the formula you can use this way. Nothing but C6H10O5N. Why N? Because there are N number of molecules attached, right? So on hydrolysis will give you C6H12O6. Since we are talking about starch and cellulose, I would like to tell you one thing that starch and cellulose are not same. They are different. They look same actually. If you see the structure, it's exactly same. Only the difference is the bond. This is in the downside. This is on the upside. But with small difference, there's a huge difference in the property of starch and glucose. Right? So if you see, starch can be digested by our body. The rice which we eat has not a lot of starch. But cellulose, you can't digest it. Cellulose is used to prepare paper, cloth, fiber, etc. It is non-digestible. So starch is a food which you can digest. But cellulose is not a food. Cellulose is used to prepare rope, clothes, fibers, etc. And this is not digestible. Correct. They are different actually, starch and cellulose. We'll talk more about starch and cellulose in the next few slides. Um, just I thought of introducing you the definition. So this is a most commercial, commercially used method to prepare starch and, sorry, to prepare glucose from starch and cellulose. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.